Hi my friends, today we model this part which is uh, an impeller and I don't have a drawing for this. Let's start. Standard millimeters IPT XY plane a vertical axis of 67 this is an axis I move the dimension here and I draw some lines this starts from the center point and goes up the other is uh, this one dimensions for them are 22 this is 262 262 and this is 6 we place a point in the air here at uh, 40 millimeters from the bottom you see just right let's see the other one which is 80 oh not okay now is okay then we go to spline interpolation and we connect these three points okay now we have a fully constrained sketch and we apply revolve okay we create a new sketch in the plane x y f7 I project this small generator I draw a line to here you see this line is between this horizontal and the tangent of the curved face dimensions 30 millimeters here and an angle of uh, 2 degrees this is a fully constrained sketch good now I apply extrude but not as a solid a surface the profile is this line I go to the other direction and the value is uh, 140 I use Alt F I to change the color I select this okay now we see this uh, extrusion we are interested in the curved line which is the intersection between this plane and this curved face to obtain this we select 3d sketch and intersection curve this is the face this is the other geometry okay and now you see this curve I hide the, the extrusion after I get out here extrusion visibility 
Alt F I to go back with the background. Okay. Now we create a plane, a work plane, by using this curve and this end. A new sketch in this uh, plane, F7, we project this point and we draw a rectangle starting from that point up. Dimensions are 3 and 40. Finish sketch. Sweep on this curve. Okay. I hide uh, this plane and you see that we have a nice uh, curved uh, face. I select this uh, edge to apply one millimeter fillet to both uh, edges. I apply circular pattern for the last two features about the axis Y. The number is 7 and we have uh, an impeller already. I want to apply other features in order to be like in the model. You see here there is a hollow volume inside. XY plane F7 and I don't want to project all the face with all these lines so that I go to this sketch I make it visible and I project the spline then I hide that sketch the thickness of that wall is uh, 2 millimeters so I apply 2 millimeters here I draw a line from this point to the center I go down I go somewhere here then up trim this end two millimeters two millimeters here okay and also two millimeters up This is an axis and we apply revolve as a cut. You see the result. Okay. Once again XY for a new volume which is a rectangle starting from this midpoint to the left with dimensions after I select this to be the center line 
20. Oh, right, 20. And uh, height is 15. Finish sketch, revolve, not cut, but volume. And you see here something interesting. I select this uh, edge for a two millimeters fillet. Then a hole. This is the face. This is the center. And 14 through all. Okay. The last feature is a keyhole, which we place here with X to the right. A rectangle eight tab three. This uh, center is here. Finish sketch, extrude all this not. Uh, not a surface cut through all okay material stainless steel and you see the final object. I also select view, visual style, shaded. Now, what about the variable geometry? You see, this is not identical with this. The difference is because of this curve which is the same and this angle which is not the same I change it to 5 degrees and you see another object what about 10 degrees which I think is the maximum. Now you see other configuration of the blades. This means that you can control the, uh, the angle and the blades by uh, reaching uh, a suitable solution for the efficiency of this uh, impeller that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye